As of now, this is GF Laserbolt from GamerFusion.com, and I've been getting this question quite often is Laser, how do you go ahead and play multiplayer? A lot of people seem to have issues with not being able to find out how to play multiplayer, and that's why I'm here to help you guys and assist you guys on how you guys get, get to unlock the multiplayer. Now, when you guys uh, spawn or when you guys uh, start up the game, you will be presented uh, with the game, and you're going to have to complete a storyline of the game and also some quests but in order for you to unlock the actual multiplayer of the game this is what you're going to need to do in order to be able to access the multiplayer now in order for you to uh, access the multiplayer and play with friends co-op or three versus three one versus one depending on what aspects of the multiplayer you're trying to do so the mission you're looking for that you're trying to have completed before you access the multiplayer i'm going to show you right now and then i'm going to show you exactly what it is that you guys got to do to access the multiplayer lab the only way you're able to access the multiplayer lobby is if you go ahead and uh after you complete this mission you uh go ahead and uh go back to the lobby so it's called return of the saint saga what's going to happen here is you're going to go ahead and fill some sibian kill some sibians and after that you fight um you fight vegeta and then after you fight vegeta you go ahead and uh you'll get a power times 10 vegeta transforms which is the big form of vegeta uh, you know when he becomes a monkey then after you kill him as a monkey and then you kill him in the princess pride uh, Princess pride limit battle after you kill him there you will unlock the multiplayer now the way you access the multiplayer You're gonna go to your menu this is on Xbox uh, one and then you go ahead and quit out and as soon as you quit out You're gonna go ahead and uh, launch back to Dragon Ball C and uh, let's go Dragon Ball C Okay, hold on Go ahead and la let's try to launch it through here launch launch there we go so you're going to launch the Dragon Ball C, and then after you launch Dragon Ball C, you will then uh, be taken to your menu where you have to um, press the start menu. Once you press the start menu, let's go ahead and run through those. Yeah, this game has a lot of save. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got to wait till that loads. As soon as you get to the startup menu where it says press start, uh, press every button, you're going to go, yes, I want to go in with that profile. Game start, correct. And then in order for you to access the multiplayer, you're going to be presented where it tells you that you, um, <clears throat> sorry, that you got to select your character depending how many characters you have. So you can go right there where it says laser bolt and you select that. And then here's where the tricky part comes. You see where it says single lobby? That one, uh, it says do not directly interact with any other players. Other players' characters will appear as NPCs. Once you go to multi lobby, players with characters controlled by other players, this one will give you access to the multiplayer. And that's how you guys access the multiplayer on Dragon Ball C. Well, guys, I hope this video was helpful and informative. And if it was, make sure you guys leave a comment in the, in the section down, the comment section down below. And don't forget, guys, for all things Dragon Ball Z Universe, head over to GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.